let me show you how to add and format a cross-reference within your Microsoft Word document. Now, I'll be using Microsoft Word for Mac for this demo, but if you're a Windows user, the process is pretty much the same. Now, the big benefit of cross-referencing within your Microsoft Word document is you can basically create clickable hyperlinks, if you like, that take your user or your reader from the piece of text to the item such as an image, such as the headings or footnotes within your document. The great thing about them as well is if the name of the image or the heading name changes or the page changes, it will automatically update once you update your document before finally saving it. So let's take a look through this document here. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to create a piece of text which links out to this particular image here, which as you can see, lives on page two and is called figure one, Brooklyn Bridge NYC. So I'm going to click where I want my piece of text to go and I'm just gonna keep this one very, very simple and say something like view image of the Brooklyn Bridge on page two. Now, rather than me typing that piece of text and then hyperlinking it, as I kind of showed you in the previous hyperlinking video, I want to use a cross-referencing feature within Microsoft Word because I want to make sure that any changes to the name here for this caption or any page number changes will automatically be fed into this particular piece of text if they change and if I update my document. So I'm gonna type C, then I'll put a space in, and then rather than typing the bit of text for the caption, which was figure one, Brooklyn Bridge, I'm gonna go up to the References tab up here, and I'm going to choose Cross Reference. So I've just got a little space here after the word C, and I'm going to click on Cross Reference. Now what this does is it opens up the Cross References dialog box, and it asks you basically to look into your document for what you actually want to refer to. So first of all, instead of referring to a numbered item as it's suggesting at the start, I want to actually refer to a figure. Okay, and you'll see it automatically links to any options here or any figures that I have created. Now, if you're not familiar with how figures work and how to add them to your images, I have a handy video here called How to Create a Table of Figures in Microsoft Word. And in that particular video, I explain how you can create captions for your images, which are the same captions that we're pulling through to just here. So if you're interested, I'll put the card in the link above. But for this one, we're going to click on Figure 1 Brooklyn Bridge. Now we have the option to display the entire caption as you see here, or we can change the insert reference to, to perhaps only the label and the number. So that would just say Figure 1 instead of Brooklyn Bridge, or the caption text only, which would just say C Brooklyn Bridge NYC. In this case though, I'm gonna leave it as the entire caption, so I want it to display everything that we see here. So I'm going to make sure that I have insert as a link checked, because if I don't, it won't become a hyperlink. And I'm now going to click insert, and you will see that it has actually automatically inserted this text for me. And if I hover over it, it doesn't appear like a traditional hyperlink in blue and underlined, but it does allow me to hover the cursor over and show the hand, which means we can click on that if we need to. Now what I'm going to do is without closing this dialog box, I'm going to click back into where that text is and put a space. And then I'm going to say on page and then put a space again. And then this time I'm going to leave figure one selected because we're referring to that particular caption. But instead of choosing entire caption, I'm going to choose page number. Now what I'll do is when I click insert, I can then close this dialog down and you'll see it has automatically listed it as page two because it knows if we scroll, this is on page two and it knows this is the name of the caption. Now the great thing here is if I click here, it takes me to the figure and if I click on the number, it also takes me there as well. Now, if you save your document as a Word document or as a PDF, this will also work. So basically, as long as it's an electronic document, your viewer or reader will be able to navigate using those clickable cross-references. Now, just to show you how this works, if I put in a couple of paragraph or page breaks, should I say, that image is now on page four. But you'll notice this text hasn't yet updated. However, if I right-click on the number and choose Update Field, you'll see it now automatically changes to page four. Now, normally what I do is I'll select all of my text within my document using Command A, and then I'll perform one final update on the entire document 
using this um, update option here or using, I think it is F9 off the top of my head to update all of these different fields within the document. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can link out to a heading. So if I scroll down, you'll see I have a heading here called the bridge design, which is on page six. And I'm going to use the exact same method. So let's go back up to here and we'll put in a little um, couple of returns. And we're going to just say something like, find out more about designing bridges in the and then we're going to say bridge design section of this document. But of course, we're not going to type bridge design because we're going to use the same method as before, which involves going up to insert, um, sorry, cross reference from the references tab, cross reference. And then this time, instead of choosing a figure, we are going to choose heading. And then this is looking at any of those headings that we have applied using styles within the document. And I have a separate video talking about using the styles, which again, I'll link to in the card above. But for now, I'm going to choose this bridge design one. We're going to make sure that we insert it as a link, just like before. We'll click insert. And then you will see it says, find out more about design and bridges in the bridge design. And then I can say section of this document. And then instead of um, putting a page number here, I'll just close this down and it allows the user to click here and jump to that particular heading. Now the great thing here again, if we were to change the heading or change the page that it resides on, then when we update our document or when we right click on that particular hyperlink, so if I right click on here and then update field, it would update it for us automatically. Now the final thing I want to do is I want to link out to an footnote within this document. So if I scroll down, you'll see that I have a little footnote within this final page here. So this is a footnote which is linked to this footnote just here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to a blank page. Let's just go for this one here. And I'm going to just, for the sake of this one, just say, see the see views. And then I'm going to put footnote, a little space. And then what we'll do is we'll go to cross references once again, we'll change the reference type from heading to footnote. And because I have used a proper footnote in this document, we have the footnote here. All I need to do is then just hit insert and then I'll close this down. And then you'll see it says on footnote one, and then we can click there and it allows us to link down to that particular footnote. Now I've got to be honest, I don't usually cross reference to footnotes very often, but I do add a lot of footnotes to my document. And if you're interested in finding out how I added this footnote to this document, then check out this video here.